Welcome to Studio CF, the video law blog of Carlton Fields. My name is Lori Baggett. I'm a construction and employment litigator at the firm. Joining me is Ellen Lyons, who is a shareholder and business litigator at the firm. The topic of this episode is Florida Offers of Judgment and Choice of Law Provisions. Ellen, I understand there's been a new opinion issued by the Florida Supreme Court regarding offers of judgment. Can you tell us a little bit about the case? That's right, Lori. The case is Southeast Floating Docks versus Auto Owners Insurance Company. And although it is a Florida Supreme Court decision, the two trials that preceded this decision actually occurred in federal court. On appeal, the 11th Circuit certified three questions to the Florida Supreme Court, all relating to offers of judgment, which is Florida's fee-shifting statute. Two of those three questions related to whether you can serve an offer of judgment between trials and whether you can use an offer of judgment to get the claims against a non-settling party dismissed. The Florida Supreme Court declined to answer two of them, but did respond to one. What was the third issue that the court did address? Whether litigants in Florida courts can use Florida's offer of judgment fee-shifting statute even when those litigants are contractually bound to use the substantive law of another forum in resolving their dispute. What did the court hold? The court held that Florida's offer of judgment statute is inapplicable where the parties have contractually agreed to be bound by the law of another forum. The court found that when parties use choice of law provisions to determine what state or country's laws are going to determine their dispute, that the court is going to uphold the use of those laws unless they contravene a strong public policy. Does that mean parties to a contract can draft around Florida's offer of judgment statute? Yes, despite the fact that Florida's offer of judgment statute says that it applies to all civil actions for damages, this decision holds that parties can draft around the application of the offer of judgment statutes. When the parties are negotiating the law that's going to apply to their dispute, they can decide to have the law of a forum that does not include an offer of judgment or fee shifting statute. Ellen, does this opinion affect the application of Florida's Chapter 57105? Yes, it does. Now parties can choose the law of another forum to resolve their disputes and avoid application of Florida's 57105. This has big implications because it's one less tool or mechanism that we will have to punish unreasonable litigation conduct. Does this opinion have any other significance? Yes, it does. An offer of judgment is but one of many tools that we have to settle cases and punish unreasonable litigants. This case takes away that option in instances where the parties have contractually agreed to be bound by the law of another forum. In light of this opinion, what practical suggestions would you make for contracting parties? Well, the parties have to decide if they want a choice of law provision. And if they do, you'll want to look at the laws of other jurisdictions and whether those jurisdictions have fee-shifting statutes. Finally, Ellen, what can we expect in the future as a result of this opinion? Well, certainly the two certified questions that were not answered remain unresolved. And those certified questions relate to the timing of offers of judgment and what parties can be dismissed as part of an offer of judgment. Next, there are implications for torts and insurance practice. In torts, where torts were committed in another state, but being litigated in Florida, there will be a question of whether Florida's offer of judgment statute applies. In insurance, where the parties try to draft around the application of some of Florida's attorney's fee shifting statutes that relate to the insurance industry, those issues are certainly an area for new litigation in the future. That brings us to the end of this episode of Studio CF. We hope you found this discussion informative. Please take a moment to browse our other legal topics and be sure to check back with us each month for new episodes. Thank you for watching.